Well, what the width tool does is in a very similar way, it allows you to then control individually those stroke lines. So let me zoom in a little bit here. And the width tool is over here on the toolbar. I call it Nessie the Loch Ness Monster because the little icon looks like Nessie to me. If I click on that puppy and I go over here to the line, I can individually control those lines by hovering my cursor and using the width tool to expand or contract pieces. I love having that control over the line. And that's what the wind tool, width tool gives you. And you can taper those things right where you are just by moving the stroke and the line in the right position and in the right place. And so you have absolute control over the shape and contour of that stroke line, allowing you to make really unique and individualistic lines. And you can then, you know, pair that with what's possible on the line profile toolbox. So you can make your strokes look more natural and artistic, like a real Donald Duck illustration. So I love doing that. I first outline and draw everything with a flat stroke line. And then I go in and tune it up with the width tool and make it awesome.